everybody, happy Friday to you. So today, I'm gonna do my monthly favorites for the month of February. I have some holy grails, absolute favorites. Most of these are like ride or die. Like I've loved these for like a really long time and just kind of pulled them back into my collection. And one thing is like newer, but like I am never gonna be without it. So we'll start with that first product, the newer item. I freaking love this. <laughs> I had to say freaking, I'm sorry, because I, I love this. This is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. This is just like beautiful. <laughs> this is just like unicorn magic in a little bottle. It is such a beautiful, it's not shimmery, it's just like glowy. I don't know how they did it and the technology behind it because it's not like a liquid shimmer. It's like legit, like adds instant glow and health and radiance to your face like I don't know how it works I don't know but it looks fabulous on and I'm so happy I bought this because this is relatively pricey but like it's so worth every penny so you take a pump and you just rub it on and it just let's rub it in so you can get the full effect like look at my hand look at it <laughs> look at this hand I know wah, wah. look at this one I know it's that's what it does to your face it just you look instantly glowy, radiant, magical unicorns dancing on your face. Like, I don't know exactly how to describe it, but I feel like it gives your face such a beautiful glow. It makes you look instantly healthy, makes your skin look plump and hydrated and just like glowing and lit from within. Ride or die. Love it. <laughs> I'm always going to have this. Um, I have it on today underneath my foundation. And then I like to use this alone, like if I just look like crappy <laughs> and I need to go somewhere without makeup, take a pump of this, rub it all over my face, and then boom, I look healthy. Highly, highly, highly suggest it. Check it out. Ask for a sample at Sephora, it's amazing. Next favorite will go along with like the glowiness. Oh my gosh, this blush. <laughs> this is from Wet n Wild. It's $2.99, fabulous deal. It's Rio Champagne from the Color Icon Blushes. It's, I have it on today. It's been my favorite. It's been one of my most reached for blushes in the like the last, I don't know, since ever I bought it, like the last two months. It's just a perfect color. It's a perfect color. It, I can't even. And it's, I don't know how well you can see it, but there it is. It's like a beautiful rose gold champagne. Has a little bit of a sheen to it. Makes you look healthy. It's like a tart exposed kind of blush. Like it's a perfect everyday blush that goes with everything. But it's like a fraction of the price. And it's so much better because it has that little bit of a champagne glow to it without looking frosty or shimmery. It doesn't accentuate pores. It's just a really good blush. And from the drugstore, I love this. It's so good. Okay, and then I pulled out an oldie but goodie because I see Raw Beauty Christy use this all the time. And this used to be like a ride or die for me. Like it was like my favorite highlight of life. And then I just keep accumulating so much more highlighters that I forget to use this. But I've been pulling this bad baby out bad baby. Bad baby out. <laughs> but I've been pulling this back out and I adore it. You can already tell from the packaging. I mean, hello, the packaging alone. Adorable. This is from The Balm and this is the Mary Luminizer. It's a cult favorite for a reason. I have it on today as my highlight. Highlight, highlight, highlight. Oh, This is the highlight that the satellites in outer space can pick up because it's like, it makes you look liquidy, like liquidy makes it it's like it's like a wet looking it's a powder okay get it together at least it's a powder but it gives you almost like a wet dewy like glistening glow it is fabulous a little bit of this goes a long way so start off with a little bit and build your way up because if you just like dig your brush in and go in here I mean it's gonna be like BAM like it's gonna break glass <laughs> like cuz it's gonna be like whoo highlight but this I absolutely I can't even with it and I forgot how much I love it there she is there in all her glory. I mean, look at that. That is amazing. Plus, if you keep a lookout on Hot Look, the bomb goes on sale on Hot Look like all the time. So you can get this for like half the price. It's, it's so good. It's like, it's like Becca highlight standards. It's great. It's fabulous. All right, moving on to a lip favorite this month. This is from Hourglass. This is like my first high-end lipstick that I ever bought myself and I love it. It is such a creamy, beautiful, moisturizing formula. It has nice pigmentation. It's just, it's perfect. It's one of those you can just grab in your purse and throw on and not even need a mirror. It's so, so pretty. This color here is in the color Fawn. It is like a 
pretty warm nude rose. A beautiful rose. It's, mmm, can't even with this color. This is like always in my purse. <laughs> Because it's just one of those colors that looks so well and complements my skin tone and I don't even have to fuss with it. It's not going to accentuate any dry patches on my lips. It's just going to go on creamy and smooth and give me that gorgeous warm rose color on my lips that I just live for. So this lipstick, giving me life, highly suggest it. What's cool about this too is once you like run out of this, the bullets are replaceable. So you don't have to buy the whole package again. You could get a cheaper price by just buying the bullet and put it back in there. I know, it's it's nice. And the packaging is really nice and it feels really weighty. Like it's it feels like high quality. Alright, last two favorites are some eye stuff. This is like I've talked about this many times on my channel. This is the NYX Slide On Glide On. Definitely a turn on waterproof extreme shine eyeliner. Like why is that name so long? But this is in the color golden bronze. This is fabulous if you have green or blue eyes or even brown eyes. It's just such a pretty bronze gold. I have it on the tops, my top eyeliner today. <laughs> um, it just kind of makes my eyes look a little bit more blue and brightens them up. It is really such a fabulous color. There it is on the bottom. So you see it's just such a beautiful golden bronze color. It has a lot of warmth to it too. So this has been a favorite all month and plus it's so creamy. It glides on smoothly. It doesn't tug at your eyes. It stays all day long. It doesn't smudge off. It's a great, great eyeliner. And for the price, yes. Alright, last two favorites are some mascaras. Um, one newer, one old time favorite, holy grail. Better than sex, I mean, hello. Um, so this is from Too Faced, it's the Better Than Sex Mascara. I haven't had this in a while and I forgot how much I loved it. So, so this is just a really nice volumizing formula. It has a really cool hourglass shaped wand. This is one of those mascaras that the longer it's open, the better it gets, like it just gets more fabulous. I have it on my top lashes today. It just gives instant darkness, volume, va va voom. I love it. So, big hit, falling back in love with it. And once I run out of this little deluxe size sample, I'm gonna be buying a full size because it's really my most favorite mascara I've ever tried. Next and last item, this is the mascara I've been using for underneath my eyes, my bottom lashes. This is from Touch and Soul. It's the Stretch X Stretch Lash Effect Mascara. This is what the packaging looks like. And the wand has like a little bit of a curved but it's super skinny, so it's like a little bit curved, but super skinny. It's really easy to get up underneath the eyes and coat the under eye lashes and coat the bottom lashes, uh, and plus it stays there. It's like pretty much waterproof. It's not going to come off with crying because, I mean, I, I cry a lot. <laughs> I'm pregnant. It happens. Um, but this just stays there and doesn't smudge, so I love this, and it's been fabulous. So definitely check it out if you're prone to smudging or if you have cryy eyes like me. <laughs> So guys, that was my Friday. So guys, that was my February favorites. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment down below with your favorites of the month. I would love to hear your recommendations. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I heart you guys all. Bye, everybody. And these are, this is one of those mascaras. If you open it and then, these are one of the, <laughs> hi guys, so happy Friday to you. I know that was a weird intro. I've never done that before. Let's start over. Hi guys, happy Friday to you. So today is, my, I was going to say Friday favorites, but I mean it's technically Friday, but, okay, shut up please, <laughs> start over, <laughs> monthly favorites, get in your head, okay, what month is it ending, February, I'm like, wait a minute, where are we, <laughs> what year is this, alright, <laughs> this is what I have on, <laughs> I don't know why I do that, <laughs> I don't know why I talk like that, and do that, anyways, I digress, <laughs> who sunshine, <laughs> sunshine, sunshine, as much as I like the sunshine, just makes the different sides of my face look different. Like that one's like bright, no shadows, and this one's like all contoured and chiseled. <laughs> I don't know why I do that. Just a weirdo. Just a weirdo, tell ya. I do this all the time. Like I just go to film, I'm like, oh, I didn't even put on lipstick yet. Like, hello, Elise. Duh. <laughs> Ugh, this lipstick gives me life. It's like, holy girl status. It's so creamy, too. I love, love it. <laughs> it's pulled the shirt because, like, boobs have been growing. You know, I'm pregnant. <laughs> They're preparing for baby. And I don't want to be like, boobs in your face. Because. I know some people like that, but you know, not everybody. Not everybody. Hi, everybody. Happy Friday to you. So today, there we go. It's going a little tall. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. We're doing this. Okay, where was I? I was saying hello. Hello. Hi. I want to cry all the time. I'm not even sad. I'm not even happy. I'm just, like, talking. And I'm, like, crying. Oh, my gosh. I can't even, like, I log on to Facebook. And everything on there makes me cry. Every single stupid post 
It could be a happy post, a sad post, a sweet post, whatever. Like, I am bawling all the time whenever I'm on Facebook. My husband says he needs to kind of ban me from social media. <laughs> because he's like, yeah, why do you do this to yourself? Why do you watch that? You read the title, you know you're going to cry. Why do you watch it? I'm like, I can't help it. I need to watch. And then I think everybody just needs a good cry. And now that I'm pregnant and hormonal, I cry all the time. It's ridiculous. I never used to cry. I never cried before I had children. Children made me weak. <laughs> I used to be really strong, but now I'm like, big cry, baby. Pile of mush. Whatever. I wouldn't change it for the world, though. All right, all right, all right, all right, then. I'm running out of time. I need to speed my talking up. Speed the talking up, Elise. Speed it up. I literally got two minutes of memory life, so what, what am I doing snapping? Wasting time. That's what I'm doing. Goodbye, goodbye.